Elgato has finally launched a big 2.0 update for mobile and it's finally available for Android. If you don't already know, it was available on iOS, but now people on Android can use it as well. It's completely free and today I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's super simple. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right. So first things first, what you need to do is download the mobile app on the Play Store. So just go to the Google Play Store, download the Elgato Stream Deck mobile. Once it's installed, you can open it and you can set it up. All right. So once the app is open, you will see this open Stream Deck button. So it says right here to get started, open Stream Deck on, on your computer. If you don't already have it downloaded, make sure to also go ahead and download Stream Deck on your PC. All the links will be down in the description below. So once that is open up, you click on continue and it will say available computers, add computers. So you just simply click on add computer. It will uh, basically ask you to give the permissions for the camera, click on yes. And then over here, now on PC, we will have to go to the Stream Deck button over here and then go to add mobile device. Once you click on add mobile device, you will see a QR code pop up. You simply need to scan the QR code. Once you've scanned it, it will say the code both on PC and on the phone. And if it matches, you click on trust and boom, that is it. As you can see, it gave us a Stream Deck of six free buttons right over there. If you want to add more buttons, you will need to pay, but six buttons is plenty already. So let's go over some of the things that you can do and that you can change. So if you click on the cogwheel, you will see the layout. If you see already over here, a lot of these buttons are locked. Like I said, you will have to pay for them. If you just simply want to hide them, you go to layout and then you go to mini over here. If you click on mini, the layout will change and you will only see the available buttons, the free buttons. If you want to change your orientation, you can click on uh, dynamic and then over here you can change it to fixed if that's what you are into. You can also click on pro and then you can see over here it says upgrade to pro. If you click on it, it's going to say upgrade to pro, customize up to 64 keys. So you can have 64 keys right over there. You can click on the view other plans and then here you can see all the plans that are available right now. So you have one month, you have one year and you have lifetime. So if you don't want to buy a Stream Deck, which costs over 150 bucks, you can get yourself a lifetime Stream Deck mobile for 60 euros or $60, depends where you live, and then use your old phone as a Stream Deck. It's pretty sick. So if you want to choose that, you can do so. And now we go back on the PC itself and you can add the buttons that you just want to have added. So for example, we have multimedia increased volume. If we don't want that, we simply click delete on the keyboard. We delete this button. It will also delete it on the phone. And for example, if you want to add a uh, website or something, you simply drag website and then you can say over here, uh, youtube.com slash agent. So you can subscribe to my channel right here. So if you click on this, it will open up my YouTube channel. You can customize this however you want, but that's how you can set up the new Stream Deck mobile on the phone. It's very easy. And that's basically it. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see my other videos, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.